Hello everyone and welcome to this next video from the series called Modern Identity Powered by Azure. In this video, I want to talk about workplace verification on LinkedIn with Microsoft Entra Verified ID. So let's start. Probably recently you noticed Workplace verification on LinkedIn. So some organizations publish information that their employees can successfully verify their workplaces. So in this video, I would like to explain some concepts behind it so you can understand what's happening there and why it can be important for your organization. Let's start with the challenge and purpose. When you meet new professional contacts for the first time online, you need additional trust signals to increase your confidence that they are who they say they are. So let's put a simple example. I can add any company and position to my LinkedIn profile right now. So on the right side, you can see that here is the experience section on the LinkedIn in my LinkedIn profile. And here I added GitHub as a company and I added title principal consultant. And I can save this setting and then under experience section on LinkedIn, there will be information that I work for GitHub or I'm working for GitHub. But does it mean that I really work for GitHub? Yeah. So here is the question, like how to prove this employment? Yeah. And how to confirm that? So this is why by simply looking for a verification on LinkedIn, members and organizations can be more confident that the people they collaborate with are authentic. So in this case, with the example of GitHub, GitHub can confirm that I really work there. So this is about workplace verification with LinkedIn and Microsoft Entra verified ID. So let's move forward. To enable workplace verification, LinkedIn enabled integration with Microsoft Entra verified ID service. So let's talk about some important facts when it comes to verifications on LinkedIn profile. Verifications are visible, but you can remove them anytime. A verification indicating that you have confirmed your workplace will be visible on your profile once the verification process is completed. But the actual information itself, like email address, information on your ID card or company credential will not be visible. There is no additional cost to verify and add verifications to your LinkedIn profile. The display of verifications on your profile may change as the future evolves and verifications may be removed if the verification expires, for instance, or is revoked. Adding verifications is optional. It's not a required step to complete the profile, but it's recommended to use it. What are the benefits of using verified ID? Verifying workplace credentials for use on LinkedIn is just one example of how Verified ID can make digital interactions simpler and more trustworthy. Verified ID credentials can increase trust, authenticity and verifiability while reducing cost, time and friction in many scenarios. Microsoft Entra Verified ID is based on open standards. It can work with existing HR systems as well as a range of identity systems such as Microsoft Azure Active Directory. So, to keep in mind, important fact is that Microsoft Entra Verified ID is built on the open standards. It's not like a custom implementation. It's built on top of open standards provided by the centralized identity foundation. Great. So now it's time to see it in action. Here is my LinkedIn profile. On the left side, there is LinkedIn mobile application opened on my iOS device. On the right side, there is my profile open in the browser. Now, when I open my experience section on LinkedIn, we can see that I added innovation lead position at Formula 5 organization. Now, because of the fact that Formula 5 has Microsoft Entra verified ID service configured and LinkedIn verification enabled, I will be able to successfully verify my workplace. Let's see how. Once I open my LinkedIn profile in the mobile application, I have to click three dots and select about this profile section. 
As we can see, under verification section, there is a button called verify your workplace. Let's click it. After a few seconds, there is a page displayed. Currently, this option only verifies current employment, so in my case, Formula 5 organization. So, let's click verify button at the bottom. Once it's clicked, we are redirected to the custom web application managed by the organization we work for. In this case, Formula 5. We have to sign in with our corporate credentials. I will use my Formula 5 account. After successful authentication, verification is done underneath using Microsoft Entra Verified ID. I will explain this process in details later in this video. We can see that Formula 5 has sent my workplace verification to LinkedIn and then I can click Submit button. After a few seconds, we can see that verification was successfully added to my LinkedIn profile. After clicking view your profile, we can see that under verifications, I have Formula 5 added. If I click show verifications, I can see more details. Now when I refresh my LinkedIn account in the browser, we can also see that workplace verification is added here too. This is not the end. Let me show you one more thing. Employee verification with Microsoft Entra Verified ID Service. I want to present it to you so you can see the great potential of using verifiable credentials. Verification on LinkedIn is one thing, but also I can get verifiable credential directly from my organization, which will land in my Microsoft Authenticator app. With such approach, I can keep my verified employee verifiable credential and present it to others in the future. On the left side, here is my Microsoft Authenticator app with some of existing verifiable credentials issued. On the right side, there is a custom web portal of my organization, which I can access once I'm successfully authenticated. From there, I can click Retrieve your verified employee ID button. After a few seconds, QR code is displayed. I have to scan it with Microsoft Authenticator app. As we can see, there is issuance process started. I can get verifiable credential from Formula 5 organization that proves my employment here. Once I click Add, it lands in my digital wallet, so in this case, Microsoft Authenticator app. If I open it, we can see all details related to my corporate profile at Formula 5. Great, so now let's see some additional resources. Links to the pages I'm showing you now are included in this video description. So, here is Microsoft Entra Verified ID documentation. Under Architecture and Deployment, you can see LinkedIn Employment Verification. And this is the place that describes how to set up Microsoft Entra Verified ID, how to create a Verified ID employee credential, how to deploy custom web application from GitHub. So, all the required steps are explained here. At the moment of recording this video, this feature has to be enabled by Microsoft. So, you have to contact Microsoft directly and people at Microsoft will help you enable this feature. So, from this page, I want to discuss the architecture. So, what's happening underneath when we verify our workplace on LinkedIn. So, we can see that once the administrator configures the company page on LinkedIn, employees can get verified. Below are the high-level steps for LinkedIn integration. So, user starts the LinkedIn mobile app, and basically this is what we saw in the video previously. The mobile app retrieves information from the LinkedIn backend and checks if the company is enabled for employment verification, and it retrieves a URL to the custom web application. And a second before, we saw this custom web application, and it can be deployed, and source code is available on GitHub. If the company is enabled, the user can tap on the Verify Employment link and the user is sent to the web app in the web view. The user needs to provide their corporate credentials to sign in. So this is why I use my Formula 5 account to sign in. The web application retrieves the user profile from Microsoft Graph, including first name, last name, display name, job title, UPN, email and photo and call the Microsoft Entra Verified ID service with the profile information. 
Next, the Microsoft Entra Verified ID service creates a verifiable credentials issuance request and returns the URL of that specific request. The web application redirects back to the LinkedIn mobile application with the specific URL. LinkedIn app Wallet communicates with Microsoft Entra Verified ID services to get the verified employment ver verifiable credential issued in their wallet, which is the part of the LinkedIn mobile app. The LinkedIn mobile app next verifies the retrieved verifiable credential. If the verification is completed, they change the status to verified in their backend system and is visible to other users on LinkedIn. And obviously there is this diagram attached. But the case is that underneath Microsoft Entra Verified ID service is used. So first of all, there is a check whether organization has Microsoft Entra Verified ID service configured, whether this uh, specific organization has the custom web application uh, deployed to generate the issuance uh, request. And then once the verification is successful, verifiable credential is returned to the LinkedIn mobile app. And this is why in the end we can see that this specific person, for instance, has the workplace verified successfully. So that's the story underneath when it comes to workplace verification on LinkedIn with Microsoft Entra Verified ID. If you want to learn more, I recommend to check another link provided in this video description. LinkedIn and Microsoft Entra introduce a new way to verify your workplace. You can find great explanation and the reason why this specific verification was created and implemented. The last link provides information about verifications on your LinkedIn profile. So when you scroll down, you will see that there is workplace verification section. So here you can read more about integration with Microsoft Entra Verified ID service. Great. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And I hope that you found it interesting and helpful. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.